Well folks, thanks for joining me again. Tramp in the hills here. Out on another walk. Two Peak 75s up for grabs today. We've come out to Bradfield, South Yorkshire. So I'm in my home county. Haven't traveled too far. Just inside the Peak District, started off from Low Bradfield. Should be a good walk. Come along with me. Come on, you know you want to. Yeah, hasn't rained for two days, but today could be the day. About 60% chance of rain all day, I think. Can't change it, can you? It is what it is. Just get on with it. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I started off down in Low Bradfield. There's two Bradfields, really. There's High Bradfield and Low Bradfield. Uh, it's all just known as Bradfield. It's very nice. Lovely valley, this. I know we, we way around it like the back of my hand. Now all the footpaths, so the route today, we're going up to Lodge Moor first. Well, Ugil Moor. I think the summit is called Lodge Moor. Going up there first. Uh, yeah, it's a bit set back from the valley. <coughs> the views are better towards the Peak District, I believe. Uh, and yeah, second top of the day. Agden Rosha. This is Agden Reservoir down here. And there's a rock a rocky rocky edge. Agden Rosha it's called. Well I don't believe it's called anything on the map. Maybe just Rosha. Uh, but it's well known in climbing terms as Agden Rosha. Climbers. So yeah, it's the plan for today anyway, two tops. getting piss wet through guarantee it it's about 12 miles I've worked out it's about 12 miles but there are a few shortcuts I can make if it's uh, pissing it down like right let's get on I'm not getting up here very quick Beautiful call of the song thrush. He don't know what he's talking about, do he? He says everything twice, it's just in case you don't hear him the first time. He just makes it up as you go along. Oh, bloody great bee there. Scared the life out of me, that. Oh. Our first top is up there. There's an old ruined barn or something on top. It's a long way off yet though. Now look what's coming. It's a bit dark this sky. The sooner this blows over the better. Right, we're heading off up here. There's something going on down there. shooting party or something like that. I hope it doesn't stop me getting up to the top here. Because I won't be on a footpath or anything like that, see? I'll be on the open moor. 
I'm not sure if it's access land. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about twelve Land Rovers. And lots of dogs. I guess they're out shooting. Shooting what? I don't know. Not me, as long as it's not me. There's a grouse butt there. They don't shoot grouse this time of year, do they? <coughs> so, I just hope it doesn't stop me getting to the top of Lodge Moor. Spot of tour rain coming in now. Bloody stuff, like we ain't had enough of it. Right, here we are. Peak 75, number 31, Ugg Hill, Moor, Stroke, Lodge Moor. Now this would have been an old shooting lodge, wouldn't it? I said an old barn or something down there, didn't I? Yeah, this would have been a shooting lodge. Hence the name, Lodge Moor. I can see all them Land Rovers down below me there. I don't want to go this side of that. They might take, start taking pot shots at me. It's a nice place. I'll spin you around and show you what's over here. Look. Now this edge you can see here is Derwent Edge where we were last week. Back tour in the mist. Cakes of bread. Dove stones. Dove stone. Uh, there's the wheel stones. Uh, Herkland stones. Over there you got your loose hill and your wind hill. Very nice. And here, this is where Stanley's Edge goes up. I don't know if you can see it, but down there is Boots Folly. We'll be heading off down that direction in a minute. There's a faint path that runs down here. I wonder if I can get to the path I need to be on if I go that way. Rather than retracing my steps to that main path. Cut the walk a little bit shorter, but... I got wet, didn't I? Typical. It's gonna be like this all day, isn't it? Still, breath of fresh air. What more could you want? Let's get going before them little buggers down there come up. One done. Get in, me booty. The actual summit looks just just here, but that's near enough for me. I'm not a purist. It's near enough for me. I don't know if this is going to be wet down here. I'll go for it. We're going to get wet anyway.
was a long way off, but I just heard my year's first cuckoo. So that was a treat. Also looking out on the lookout for the first swallow of the year. I haven't seen one yet. They've been about apparently, but they might have seen all the rain and turned back. Let's get back to Africa. So we're on the lookout for swallows. Just dropping down to Dale Dyke Reservoir now. I'm guessing that'll be muddy around there. Just get on with it. It's going to take a while to dry this out. Time for a snack. Look at this for a comfy seat. Padded for extra comfort. Look forward to seeing how much height gain there is on this walk. Some serious ups and downs. Tell you at the end. What goes up, then goes down. are going to explode. <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any worse. <sighs> At least there's a fence here to pull myself up on. Well that was bloody tough. Steep little bugger. It's the mud. <laughs> All that miles in mud takes it out of you. And then we come up to this wall. And if we look over this wall, we can see our next objective, Agden, Russia. Still a couple of miles away. Those rocks up there, that's where we're going. Don't look too far away, but we've got to carry on along this edge here and then sort of double back after half a mile or so. But this is fantastic. 
Ah, oh, all that steep ground. You get here, it's worth it. Now, right over there is Lodge Moor, <coughs> where we were this morning. You just don't make out the little lodge on top. And there's Boots Folly down there. Look to the left of those trees. Ah, Swallow! Yeah! There he is, look. First of the year. Sun's trying to come out, I believe. Well, that was nice seeing the first Swallow of the year. I used to keep a list of uh, fir yearly firsts. You know, first bumblebee, first swallow, first chiff chaff, first cuckoo. About a dozen different things. First bluebell, uh, first butterfly. <laughs> Butterflies, I've seen several this year so far. But in the past, the first butterfly you always saw was a yellow brimstone. Every year, you could set your clock by it. Every year, and you would just see one, you see loads of them. Brimstones. But this year, I haven't seen one. I've seen peacocks and tortoiseshells, but I haven't seen a brimstone yet, which is weird. So what's happening to them? Wet weather? Don't know, do you? Things are changing, aren't they? I'll have to look back on that list. Let's <laughs> find out all the dates for my first swallow. I mean, this is quite late, I think. What are we on? 11th, 12th January? Uh, April? January. I'll have a look back anyway. This is gorgeous. Come just over eight and a half miles. Uh, and ahead of us lies the sting in the tail. Uh, but it's going to be the highlight of the walk. Bring it back when we get a bit nearer. Well, I say it's going to be the highlight of the walk. You don't know yet, do you? Because I might pop into the old horns in old High Bradfield for a pint. If they let me, the state of me, they might say, get out you dirty rat, you dirty rat. We'll see. Maybe I'll better clear me boots up a bit before now and then. Right, let's get this over and done with. You're not hard, I can do this. I'm taking this in my stride. I don't know about that. This is the hill that I have affectionately named the Bastard. Let's get the bastard done. This is the hill that a few years back I made a video of me and Karen crawling up it. It's back in the playlist, the South Yorkshire playlist somewhere, if you want to have a look. But I'm fitter now. This is nothing. Absolutely nothing. I can do this. Call yourself a hill, you're nothing. Pathetic. We're nearly there yet. <laughs> oh, we're, oh, we're, not, we're not a quarter of the way up yet. Bloody hell. No, I can't do this. 
I'm going to take it in my stride. Have a drink at the top. Smash it. Absolutely smash it. Peak 75, number 32, Agden, Russia. Standing right on the cliff edge. It's a beautiful place. Oh, 32. Sheltering behind this holly bush. It's bloody windy. Get in. All right, folks, back at the car, bloody good walk. I came in at 11 miles, or just under 11 miles. So uh, 1,963 foot of ascent. I knew it was a lot. My old bloody ankle's feeling it now. Uh, so, yeah, it's 32 done now. I would say of all the... 32 I've done of the 75 I reckon that was the hardest one of the lot distance between the two was quite a lot uh, mud rain just made it feel like it was a tough day but yeah 11 miles pl pl really pleased with that I try and do 30 miles a week and I'm up to 29 so far with one day to go so I'm going to smash it this week uh be out again tomorrow I don't know if I'll do some more of these or just a little local walk probably you can't keep smashing away at it can you take it a bit easy anyway I'm gonna go home now I've got a chocolate muffin there to eat I'll eat that on the way home I made a lot of crumbs but I don't matter do it anyway I'll see you on the next one don't be late will you might be tomorrow I don't know We'll see. Anyway, whenever it is, I'll see you later then. Bye, see ya, bye.